The main uh, advantage of cold blood transplantation is that they are easily available. They are able to uh, have a, a le lower incidence of grass versus horse disease despite a much greater HLA mismatch than with other stem cell sources and also a very potent anti-tumor activity. But its major disadvantage, it's the long time that is required to engraftment and the higher use of hospital resources that are due to uh, the delayed hematopoietic engraftment that is caused by the low cell dose in a cold blood cell unit. And for several years, we have tried to increase this cell dose by using XP. In the first years, it was unsuccessful. And this was because the efficiency of expansion was only two, two points. Uh, nowadays, uh, we are able to achieve a 100 to 200 cell uh, expansion regarding stem cells, CD34, CD100, 33 uh, progenitor cells. And these uh, results in the infusion of a number of cold blood stem cells that is similar or superior to the one we are using with a peripheral blood stem cell transplants. And in the end, this, uh, we hope, will result in a shorter time to engraftment and maybe a prolongation of life and, and, and better long-term outcomes.